Yo, what is up guys? So we're here to talk about all the games that were shown off at E3 that I am super hyped and excited about. Now, uh, they're in no order minus the first two games. Uh, the first game you guys are seeing uh, right here in the background is Cyberpunk 2077. Um, and uh, if you guys want to watch the full trailers without the uh, narration of me just talking over it, then uh, I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But this video is going to serve a purpose as to, uh, you know, what games I plan to play uh, this year as well as next year or even a couple years down the line because some of these games, they don't got a release date yet. Specifically, Cyberpunk 2077 doesn't have one, which I'm kind of disappointed. But I respect them for, you know, at least giving the game the time that it needs to be completed. But anyways... This game, uh, hands down, the most exciting game uh, I think that was revealed here because it looks like something super refreshing and uh, it's going to be an RPG. We don't know when it's coming out, which is like kind of the only downside to this, but I really like the cyborg aspect of games like futuristic games, Deus Ex, uh, uh, even uh, Detroit Become Human. This game looks phenomenal. It looks like there's people like taking out uh, like cybernetics out of other people probably to sell them or to use them for themselves. I mean, look at that vehicle. I mean, this game just has hype all around it. And I think for most people, it's the most exciting game that was announced this year. Now, uh, I also wanted to mention that there are still other games coming out uh, that will probably be revealed either later today or later on within the next couple of days. But I wanted to make this video now because, you know, there's just so much I wanted to talk about. In fact, we talked a lot about this last night. Now, there's also a few things that I wanted to showcase off. Now, with uh, Cyberpunk 2077, this was actually something that was hidden. If you pause at like a very, very specific time, uh, that would be 139, but it's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the important part. So, it says free DLC expansions DRM. It says expect nothing less than you got with The Witcher 3. As far as DRM, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 will be 100% DRM free on PC. And then to further add uh, to it, it says microtransactions and it says on a single player role playing game, are you nuts right here? Fantastic job, CD Projekt Red. And I like how they kind of hid it in there. Cool stuff indeed, but that's cool. No microtransactions, not that I feel like that really makes a game super better. It should be just kind of in majority of games, especially in single player games. But then again, we had Deus Ex have the Praxis kits that you could buy in a single player like RPG uh, narrative game. But uh, anyways, that said, uh, next thing that I'm really excited about, uh, which uh, again doesn't come out until 2019, all the games that I'm super hyped up about, they're not getting really- A lot of people are trying to relate him to Virgil. You'll see that there's this V shape, right? Hold on, let me go back a second. So you'll see that he has like these wings that get shown. You'll see that there's, there is this V, right? And then around the V, there are these blue wings, blue, Virgil, red, Dante. Uh, <laughs> but uh, anyways, they're saying that he's related to Virgil somehow, and uh, obviously he's lost a limb. There's also another demon uh, limb that gets shown off uh, when he's like in these this like garage, when he's like missing his arm. Where is it? Uh, it it's somewhere here. But you can see he's missing an arm and he's bleeding, and then there's this person in the background, and they show that that might be his arm, like someone took his demonic arm. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But anyways, going on with the, the leak that I wanted to mention here. So uh, this was posted before we even saw the trailer. So there's more, I guess, uh, valid proof that this is real. But again, it could still be fake. But anyways, important part with this, okay? So it says stylus action down here uh, in the middle. It says play as three different uh, distinct demon hunters. So they're all demon hunters, okay? Uh, and it says that you can play as Dante right here. And then there is uh, Nero's uh, versatile robotic devil breaker. So we have confirmation that that guy, unless for whatever reason, <laughs> that, 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 that that isn't Nero, which I really doubt. It's definitely Nero. I mean, it has the Red Queen. It has like the demonic arm missing. It's Nero. It has to be. Anyways, uh, but then it says... Um, and uh, you can also summon demonic bodyguards as the mysterious V. Uh, I want to say V is Virgil, even though uh, I mean, it's fine. It's not really going to spoil at this point. <laughs> Virgil, Virgil is RIP. But um, he might be coming back in some other form. Could be uh, set in a different timeline, although that would kind of make things interesting because Nero doesn't really fit quite right in that timeline. But things aside, if you get to play as Virgil, that's cool. If you get to play as another hero, that would be cool. I'm hoping that you get to actually play as perhaps uh, another character, because sometimes games have secret characters. But I'm really wondering if you get to choose who you play as. And, oh, also at the very end, important thing I wanted to mention. At the very end, hold on. Uh, you get to see Dante riding in on a motorcycle. That's cool. Uh, so, 
he, he's definitely going to be a playable character. Well, I already this confirms it, but again, this post could be fake. But this post got posted before the trailer, and this is definitely the screenshot from uh, the uh, trailer over there. Another thing I wanted to mention because Ninja Three was the last uh, company that worked on, I would say, the most recent Devil May Cry. Again, we're not talking about the uh, well, technically, Definitive Edition would be that one, but. Uh, we're talking about the DMC, the reboot of the series. That was like the last one that was made, not counting like the special edition of 4 or the uh, remake of the HD collection. Uh, but yeah, Ninja Theory got bought out by Microsoft, so uh, you'll be seeing uh, no more Ninja Theory games on anything else. Some people are disappointed with that. For me, personally, I, I do own an Xbox. It's kind of collecting dust, I'll be honest. But you know, if they take Ninja Theory, hopefully they will make something really cool. Uh, but uh, anyways. Next up, uh, Anthem. I'm really excited about this game, although something important, uh, they actually did like a super fast Q&A and they mentioned that the, uh, well first off, the game's not going to come out for a while, unfortunately, but uh, the game's going to be running at 30 FPS, which I really wish it wasn't, I really wish it was 60 and you could do 720p, you know, as an option. Perhaps uh, on the PS4 Pro you will have that option, but uh, I'm really excited about this game. It looks it reminds me a lot of Mass Effect, although you kind of have this this boost because you've got like the armor. Uh, but uh, anyways, hopefully this game will be pretty good. Um, I like the way that it looks, and it looks like to be one of those games where it's got quite a uh, life cycle. So hopefully th th this game will be supported really well. I know uh, Mass Effect and Drama didn't get the most love. <laughs> from a uh, majority of gamers, but uh, I thought it was okay. I mean, obviously the facial animations were, I mean, I thought it was kind of funny, but uh, a lot of people wanted a serious game and I, you know, I can respect that, but um, I'm still really hyped for this game. In fact, uh, there's been a lot of uh, different like footage that they showed off, but I mean, we're not gonna get it for a while, but I'm not gonna go through all of this footage, but this is another game that I'm very excited about. Um, I'm hoping that the loot system in this game, well, they said it was just going to be uh, cosmetic only, but we all know it doesn't matter what the developer says early on because later in the game, slowly they add, you know, microtransactions. It's, it's only cosmetic for like the first couple weeks, first month, whatever, and then uh, it comes out and um, eventually we get the, those, those pay to win loot boxes, right? Uh, next up, uh, Halo Infinite, uh, another uh, game that I'm actually really excited about. Uh, it's been a while since I like played a lot of Halo. I used to uh, compete and I used to go to MLGs to uh, compete and uh, Halo was like a legendary game. It, it is completely it fell off like the radar. I mean in terms of like Twitch and just in general the popularity of Halo. I mean it used to be the console seller for Xbox. I was a super Xbox fanboy and I pretty much you know grinded Halo like 12 hours a day. Uh, really 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 fun. But um, I wonder if they're gonna just go battle royale but this is uh, Halo Infinite. Um, it really doesn't show anything off that's new. It shows like animals and then it just shows like people and then there's Master Chief, but it, it doesn't really give us uh, insight uh, onto what the game is actually going to be like, which to me that's a little bit unfortunate. I wish they showed off something new. I mean, it's just basically announcement of Halo. I'm gonna kind of fast forward it. Like I said, if you guys wanna check out its full entirety, I will leave a link down below that you guys can watch all these trailers without me talking over them. But of course, that's the point of uh, going over the games that I'm hyped about because this is my video. Uh, so yeah, you see Master Chief and they're like, oh my gosh, we'll play that, the, the, the BGM. And, and that, that's it. It just says Halo Infinite. And so you, you, you get to see absolutely nothing. Uh, and then also it's 343. Um, but this one, this one is just an announcement. It's just Star Wars uh, Jedi Fallen Order. Uh, then we got the Respawn Entertainment over there, but uh, I, it's just cool. I, I'm still hyped for this game. We don't know really anything about it yet, other than uh, the the, uh, the grill asks, "Yo, is there going to be lightsabers?" And he's like, "Yeah, there's going to be lightsabers." Yeah, like why would you even? I think that's someone even asked that. Uh, where is it? I will hold the lightsaber. Yes, you will. <laughs> Some people are like, "Dude, I want Titanfall 3," because uh, of course Respawn is doing it. But that's cool. I think that uh, you know I have high hopes for a really cool. Uh, another Star Wars game because Battlefront 2 it just didn't really live up to the hype a, a lot of people say it was a microtransactions but I, I think there was a lot more to it uh, but yeah, that was uh, something that I'm really excited about oh we, we got another robotic hand well this one is more like a is oh, let me lower thing. the volume here we, we got copy striped here but uh, anyways guys got like a, uh, a, a bone bone like um, bone bone arm but anyways this game Looks pretty cool. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of Neo and Dark Souls, like at first glance, right? And I saw the sneaky, I'm like, oh, okay, they're incorporating like stealth mechanics to it. Okay. 
Um, but it looks like it's a little bit more fast paced as you guys will see. Um, you know, I, I honestly thought, um, like, because I, I was just going through screenshots at the very beginning of seeing all the new games. I was like, yo, did they just announce an Onimusha for the Xbox? <laughs> Uh, by the way, the, the Xbox exclusives are kind of weak. Most of these games are available on everything. But uh, this game for Xbox looks pretty dang cool. Like, it looks like a little bit faster. It looks like there is a slight animation cam, so it looks like he went into like, a kind of a shield. But if you told me this was DLC for Neo, I would have believed it, like via just watching this. Although, it looks like it's a little bit faster than Neo. Um, looks like a pretty cool game. Uh, this one, I mean, it's not like a, a, a level 11 hype like I am with uh, Project uh, CD Red's uh, Cyberpunk, but this game looks kind of cool. It's just like a, another like game that eh, it looks like it's going to be able to... Uh, did they announce that? Wait, where does it say? Coming 2019, dude. Every single game, unfortunately, like that I'm really hyped about is not till 2019. Uh, but this one, I know most of you guys probably won't care about this game, but this is Hyper Universe. Uh, now, I did actually stream this game. Um, was it Korean or Chinese? Uh, I remember, like, I, I was I was trying to play like the the the, the Asian client of this game. Uh, it, it was super super laggy, but nonetheless, um, this game is is a MOBA game, and it's not coming for the Xbox One. Um, again, most people are probably not interested in this game, but I, the reason why I'm hyped up about this is because it can give this game another chance. Because I didn't really get to play the game because of the player base and NA just. It didn't exist. In fact, um, you can actually play this game right now on Steam, but playing a MOBA is usually better when there's more players so you can actually get a game. Um, because when I would queue up, like, there was just... You couldn't play. <laughs> yeah, so this is Hyper Universe. Um, it, it's, like I said, available on Steam. And it's, it doesn't really have that many players. So I'm hoping there can be some, maybe, perhaps, crossover play. Or, I mean, it, I'm, I'm going to guess it's a free-to-play game and you're going to have to unlock the heroes. But uh, it's cool. Uh, it's yeah, you're free to play August 7th. So, I mean, I'll check it out on the Xbox One um, and see how it goes. I hope there's people, there's enough people to play the game. All right, next game up, Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, first off, it's not getting released till 2019. A lot of people were really excited about Kingdom Hearts, but then they were like, oh my gosh, they pushed it back again. Dude, this game never going to come out. You know what? In 2019, it's coming out, by the way, I think they mentioned January. January 29th, I believe, is the, the actual release date for the new Kingdom Hearts game. But, uh, I mean, it, it's releasing at a time where there's not too much, so, like, now I'm kind of more hyped up to play, because if it came out, you know, during November, where, you know, most games are going to be coming out, I might have skipped over it and played it a little bit later, but because it's coming in January, um, I'll probably give this game a shot. Now, I, I'm not, like, a huge, huge Kingdom Hearts fan, uh, but it looks like a game that if I don't play, I'm going to regret it, because everybody and their mom is going to be talking about it. It'd be like if someone just never tries Fortnite. It's like, dude, at least give the game a shot. It looks kind of cool. I mean, look, you got Kratos' Blades of Chaos right there. I think this game will just be more of a, a fun experience, just like, you know, you play it once. Uh, I don't know if the game plans to have multiplayer, but yo, we got Anna and Elsa Frozen. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'll, I'll check it out. I just wanted to mention that. I mean, for me, it's not like, again, a level 10 uh, hype. Uh, this game over here, to me, I felt like, unfortunately for Xbox, like, there's really nothing this year for Xbox, uh, as far as, like, I'm concerned. This was the game that was going to make Xbox One owners super excited. This is Crackdown 3, by the way. Um, it just looked like a fun game with a bunch of unique, like, gadgets and stuff that you can play around with. Which is something that I'll mention, uh, again, because there's Just Cause 4. But this looks like a fun, like, little sandbox game. Uh, but unfortunately, it's not till next year too, dude. Like Xbox, wait, did they announce the? Uh, hold on, did they announce the release date? Uh, like I said, if you want to watch the full trailer, I'll link it. I'll link uh, the trailers down below. But uh, oh, this is another cool game. I feel like I really only like to see games with gameplay for the most part. But this is uh, Dying Light 2. Uh, it looks like kind of be like a, an open world game where decisions that you make can uh, affect, you know, different endings, different uh, scenarios in the game. So yeah, this is Dying uh, Light 2. Uh, actually, let me fast forward a little bit here, because um, again, I just wanted to briefly go over games that I'm excited about and ones that I will definitely be checking out. So, actually, they mentioned, uh, I, think, I think if I fast forward it here, they'll show you all these different like routes that you can take in the game, and like how linking this one affects this, that affects this. If you guys have played Detroit Become Human, kind of like that, right? I like those kinds of games that are very uh, narrative uh, driven, so that'll be interesting to see. And then like they mentioned that uh, during the day, Certain things will happen during the night. There's going to be uh, darker things that happen. So that's kind of cool. And they show off like 
like, a, like I would say like a zombie-ish monster. Uh, so that, that's a game I'm also looking forward to. This is just an announcement. All they announced was Battle Toads will return in 2019. <laughs> Honestly, this one is just kind of more for the memes than anything. Uh, but I'm still hyped up. This is, this is a game I'm still excited about uh, because, dude, it's Battle Toads. <laughs> All right, uh, next up is Just Cause. It's another like sandbox oriented game. Um, I'm gonna fast forward because they, they, they mentioned like the Black Hand, um, which is like some like organization, but uh, I mentioned they're using a new engine because every game uh, that's coming out pretty much is all Unreal Engine, which I, I like the Unreal Engine, so I'm, I'm okay with it, but interesting to see that they're not using the Unreal Engine. But uh, anyways, they mentioned that there's going to be environment, uh, like, a, like weather hazards uh there's gonna be tornadoes okay let's put it that way uh and that's kind of cool like to incorporate uh different uh, what do they call natural disasters right uh ex <laughs> incredible extreme weather so that's what they're focusing on and i think this is a really cool sandbox game if any of you guys haven't played um there's a bunch of private servers for just cause either, either two or three that basically let you do a lot of weird stuff in the game basically it's a sandbox kind of like how gta has those modded servers it's kind of like that i like it it's a cool idea and this is a game that I think if like they have it like really open uh, for the community to be able to modify stuff. There's also like these um, Fulton attractions. If you guys have played Metal Gear, where basically there's like a little balloon, you can actually like change the tension. And there's a lot of weird things that you can do in this game. So I think this game, uh, depending on how well they let the uh, community like run the game, like as far as having private servers and stuff. I think this could be a really fun game to stream, and that's what I'm excited about, but this has a brand new grapple. Let me go ahead and go fast forward a little bit so you guys can see uh, over here. The guy's like floating on this car. I mean, that would be a pretty good way to like assault like an enemy team if they do like some like teams and uh, you know, like like a big like, you know, 50 versus 50 uh, mode and you have access to like just making the game um, crazy with like attaching uh, things to the grappling hook. There's, there's a lot of things in Just Cause. If you haven't played Just Cause, just like look it up. What people do in this game, it's definitely pretty dang hype. But uh, anyways, uh, going on, um, Gears of War. Uh, honestly for this, uh, I, I haven't played Gears in a long time. This is like probably, I would say Xbox fanboys is like big thing. This and Halo are like two of the big names. Uh, but I just felt like Gears of War hasn't been that relevant in terms of like streaming. Unless maybe there's like a tournament going on. The game just generally isn't that popular. And I hope that this can make the game more popular. I haven't played Gears in a long time. Maybe I'll pick this game up. I'm so hyped up about it to see what they offer. Now, as far as this game, like what's new, I think that there's a hybrid locust and human. I think that there's that's like a new thing in the game. But I'll have to wait and see like what they do. Probably gonna add a battle royale mode because every game gonna have battle royale. I mean, in fact, Battlefield actually announced that they're doing a battle royale, uh, royale mode as well. But uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I haven't played Gears in a long time. It might be nice to kind of revisit Gears. So I'm interested to see if they really do something uh, super different with this. And in that case, I'm hyped up about it. But as far as like what they showed off, uh, with the exception of like the hybrid locust, there really isn't anything I would say that's like game breakingly new. Uh, but I like I said, I haven't played Gears in a long time, so it might be refreshing even just to play the campaign. Uh, and I probably will be streaming the campaign at least. Alright, so <laughs> this game, this is not a game that I'm hyped up about. Well, I was hyped up about. I mean, when I saw this trailer and it, 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 when you could see the uh, Tiberium like locked into the person's face, I was like, oh my gosh, they're finally adding a Command and Conquer. Like, I, I, I'm a huge fan of RTS, but RTS is a very niche genre, meaning that, like, not that many people are interested in RTS in the first place. It, it's what I would consider a very elitist game. Like, the, the, there's a few people that like it, but the people like it, they really like it, and the majority of them are pretty good. That's just how the RTS genre generally is. Um, and, and it's really difficult to sell an RTS game uh, to, you know, a publisher because they're going to be like, dude, RTS, like, what? how you get out of the microtransactions, right? And uh, the thing is, is th I was so excited about this. But it's not, I mean, it could still be an RTS kind of a game, but when you see like what the game actually is, disappointment. I mean, you could see by the like to dislike ratio, the fans are very unhappy. At first I was like, wait, wait, visually I'm like, this, this game looks, what? Like, I'm like, dude, it's 2018, what is this? Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on, uh, Rivals. And then they mentioned that you can download it on the Google Play. Okay, hold on. Like, like, it's, this is, this is Command Conquer in 2018. Really disappointed with that. Uh, the way I see this though, it, it, is they're kind of disconnected with like what the fans would want because RTS, again, is a genre that's, in my personal opinion, like it's a super niche genre. I think uh, most people can admit that RTS is, it's not a battle royale. It's not like the hot thing. Why did you pick Command & Conquer to be a mobile game? If anything, 
it should have been obviously a, a PC oriented game. Maybe you can try it on the console to get some more sales, but generally RTS, it, it, it's only really like viable on, of course, uh, PC. But, you know, of course, with uh, PlayStation 4, you can obviously run keyboard and mouse, so I, I could see it, you know, being released on console as well. But they made it a mobile game. I mean, yeah, you, you got Star Wars. That would have been a much better sell to, like, push, you know, mobile Star Wars, because, uh, again, you have a more casual audience, and I think that that was their big mistake with this, and obviously, a lot of people are super upset. I mean, they don't call you the worst company in America for nothing. Like, people are just absolutely flaming this. Um, I mean... I, I might check it out just because I really like Red Alert. That was, that was one of my favorite RTS games. Obviously, um, StarCraft was like the dominant one of uh, RTS. In fact, I feel like it's the only like RTS game that is really relevant. But anyways, there's so many other games uh, that uh, still haven't been announced. In fact, later tonight, there's still stuff announced uh, that will be announced. So I'm excited to see what gets announced. If I didn't uh, mention like a game that you guys are really excited about, let me know. Because these are the games that I'm personally excited about. Obviously, this is my list. Uh, and it'll let you guys know what I plan to play. But uh, there's a really good website, and like I mentioned before, I'll link all of the uh, videos down below. Well, it's gonna be this, so you guys can just click on whatever you want to click on. If you guys want to watch like the full trailer without me talking about it, maybe you want to learn more about whatever game. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of other games, and some games I just I've kind of lost interest in because like, I've already either played through like the game and I I've kind of experienced it. Uh, but these are the games I'm personally excited about. You guys can let me know games you guys are excited about but i'll be updating this video i'll probably make like a follow-up to it because obviously there's going to be more games announced but i figured i'd make this video because we were talking about it last night and people were like yo what games are you excited about e3 but hands down cyberpunk is definitely the game that i'm number one excited about i want to know guys in the comment section below what what game are you guys most excited about even if i didn't mention it here like let me know because obviously this gives me some feedback so i know what game to be on the lookout for and uh, check out some more information on it, because maybe, you know, you guys can convince me to stream on a game that maybe I was not interested in, but if you guys want it, I deliver, man. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. If you did, drop a like on it, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, and uh, I'll be updating uh, this video, well, not this video, but technically another video on, like, technically, I guess, part two, uh, very soon when they uh, showcase off more games. But anyways, those are the games that I'm excited about. Let me know yours down below. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I am signing out.